dedicated to the grind and dedicated to you. That's why we do what we do. This is Power Grind Boxing, courtesy of Power Grind Sports, unbeaten welterweight boxers, Terrence Bud Crawford and Errol The Truth Spence Jr. have finally agreed to fight on July 29th, 2023. Oh my God, look at me. Woo! In a highly anticipated matchup. This is going to be crazy. This fight will be part of a two-fight deal with a bi-directional rematch clause that allows the loser to initiate a rematch within 30 days. Now, the pay-per-view vice for the Spence versus Crawford event has not been announced, but I am looking forward to that pay-per-view price, but it's expected to be super, super high, and I'm expecting it to be at least $100. Now, they are saying that it's gonna range from $100 to $110 per household. Now, I don't know what it's gonna cost at our gym, but oh my goodness, I know it's gonna be very, very pricey. But setting the price too high could lead to a widespread of piracy through illegal streaming. Now, the fight is to take place at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and will be broadcasted live on Showtime pay-per-view. It's an anticipated match. Oh my goodness. I think that it's going to be one of the biggest pay-per-view events in welterweight division since Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. And man, I'm telling you, I'm just, I'm really, um, I'm really looking forward to it. Now that Floyd Mayweather, um, uh, Pacquiao event, um, I think it had 4 million pay-per-view buys. That's a lot of pay-per-views right there. Now, Crawford is 36 years old and Errol Spence is 33 years old and they are considered to be past their prime. Now, they are not the same, uh, they're not in the same stage as Pacquiao and Mayweather when they fought. So I think that, mm, I think that this fight is, I think it's okay. You know, I'm really, I'm really hoping that Everything goes how it's supposed to go. You got what I'm saying? And Crawford and Spence, they will each earn an eight-figure guaranteed purse for this fight. And there's a potential for three consecutive fights between them without giving other contenders a shot at the welterweight titles. Oh, my goodness. Now, Errol Spence has not defended his IBF and WBC titles since 2020, and he has never defended his WBA title, which he won 13 months ago by breaking the face and the ribs and the orbital socket and all that area of or Dennis Ugas. Man. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, Errol Spence, he gets a lot of criticism. You know, they, they talk about him holding the belts hostage. And of course, Terrence Crawford, he's get, he gets some criticism because you know, last the last fight that he fought was against a guy named David Advanzian. I want to say the guy's name was David Advanzian. He had been the reason why I'm I'm kind of shy with or gun shy with his name is because people was calling him David Avocado for so long that that's the first thing that popped up into my mind was to call him David Avocado, but his name is not David Avocado, it is David Advanzian. You got what I'm saying now? He it, um Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence, they were negotiating the fight. And then all of a sudden, Terrence Crawford broke the contract or broke negotiations. And then he went and fought David Evanzian. Um, So, you know, it's a lot of um, pushback. So Crawford gets the negative criticism for that decision while Errol Spence was just sitting there waiting to fight Terrence Crawford. But now it's back on. I'm saying they get ready to fight. It's get ready to go down. I'm looking forward to it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Are you looking forward to Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford fighting? And if so, who do you think is going to win? Do you think that Errol Spence can defeat Terrence Crawford or do you think Terrence Crawford is going to defeat Errol Spence? What are your fight predictions? Let me know. This is Power Ground Boxing courtesy. Power Ground Sports. Punch the like button. And I'm saying stay on the grind. Peace.